will join you in the sun. Welcome back to NR Talk. My name is Richard. My name is Alex. First of all, I gotta say happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there. Uh huh. And this is the long awaited video of we're gonna talk about Justice League. So, this... y'all could be eating your turkeys and on the YouTube channel at the same time. Mm -hmm. Parents are like, what you doing? AR Talk. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good to start off the morning with AR Talk. So, right now, we're gonna do the little. I'm, well, we're talking. We're giving our thoughts about Justice League. It might turn into a rant, and <laughs> you know, it probably will turn into a rant based on my thoughts. I already know how you feel feel about it. This, this, this is to talk about all the deleted scenes and stuff that went on in Justice League, and if the box office is a disappointment or not, and just all the scenes that they took out from the final movie. Even Jason Momoa stated that. There could have been two movies. I think he's exaggerating a little bit, but I do believe nah. there was like 45 minutes or an hour taken off in the movie. I, I feel that way too. Like, those are my sentiments, like, exactly correct. I, it's like, I I was going into this movie wishing that some scenes were in the trailer. I'm waiting for those scenes. I'm waiting for some of those scenes to pop up. And then just to see how much they changed and stuff, I was like, no, this is obviously not Zack Snyder's whole video. You could click... That, that was one thing that I was um, I was fearing because I didn't want to go in knowing that there were going to be two directors. Right. I wanted there to be, you know, a clear Zack Snyder vision. Joss Whedon had said that he was trying to, you know, express the Zack Snyder's vision. And I don't think it was correctly expressed. Exactly. When they said that Zack Snyder finished his part of the movie. So when um, Whedon came in and said they were just adding scenes, mm -hmm. not adding to take away scenes and then to cut more of the movie. That's not what was saying. They said they were just going to add some scenes to line up the tone of the movie. Not yeah. add scenes and take the stuff out. And then I everyone's best part of the movies were character development. And then you took away most of character development. Yeah. It, the, those scenes with the Flash, I would have loved to see those scenes. When they come out, I'm going to be the first one to want to see them. See, I wanted to see them you, so bad. You see it all over um, Instagram and everything. You see when, when Flash is going ahead and breaking through um, the glass. That's so dope. He, that's when he's going to save Iris. When they're first going down to fight the parademon, the cyborgs turn over and says, I didn't think you are real. And he goes, I'm real when it's useful. Mm -hmm. Another dope scene. Then when Cyborg and Justice League talking about flying, well, you see that scene in the trailer. Oh my God, he what he did with Mask? He's flying. That, I was waiting on that. What, what was he doing in the sky? Oh my God. And then you would have felt more of a Cyborg when you would have seen him as a high school student. Yeah. Flying when that they showed scene. scene. And then you would have seen what, why he feels that way. Like he was just a human. And now he's just this, this robot. Mm -hmm. And then everyone thinks he's dead. And then this man's just like... Your whole life changed. And they didn't show that in the movie. They take away character development. The Aquaman they did. Aquaman tells us when William Defoe, he was casting for Just Lee. It tells us you go more in his history. And Just Lee got... Aqu Each character... William Defoe's character for, uh, was for Justice League? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. He was... I, I think he's... Don't quote me exactly on this, but I think he's like... The armory guy, or he's oh, in like, Atlantis? he's either armory guy or he's like a, a not like a servant, mm -hmm. but like a what's that word I'm looking like for? Like a butler type. Like thing? no, not no, like a general type of. Okay, I, I, I see where you're going with that. It, but we, if we're talking about Atlantis. You could definitely tell they cut out a lot of scenes. First of all, if this is all spoilers. We're just gonna assume that you've seen the movie already. Mm -hmm. When Aquaman is talking to Mira, and then he's like, "Oh, I need a favor from you." It's like, what, what was a favor? Because you ask her that, and all of a sudden, you're like, you're, like you're in the water to save the, to save the team. Right. Like, what happened? I wanted to see more of Atlantis. That, that cool little scene that you showed with Mera, I liked it. I wanted to see more of Atlantis, more of Cyborg. The, the, the Iris West scene that they cut out in The Flash, I would have loved to see seen that. We already seen Batman's little thing, Batman v Superman, and he's in Justice League. War. One of them had a whole damn movie. Like, I want to see these characters built more. Exactly, and then when... Um when Stephen Wolf got the last mother box, there's no way that's just what the scene. Right? They fight Superman and them. And then, and then boom, you just go and take it. Like, like you just stole it. You didn't even need to show that scene of anything because it didn't even matter. Right? It did not matter. Then when Flash in the trailer um, is dodging on the pair of demon shots, well, it's not in the movie. Now, we could go oh, on no. and on. When Wonder Woman goes in the back cave when he's working on a night crawler, and it go, how did it go? Is he gonna oh, do it? More, or less. more, 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 more or less. Wasn't no, in the trailer. He said no. He said that. Those are the little scenes that I know that those are from Zack Snyder. Then he be shot almost all the Superman scenes. Then when um when when Lois is talking to Clark and he goes, I take that as a yes, and she goes, 
What do you mean? That's character the development way, too. Yes, and that scene was much better than the one that Josh Reed and Reed did. Like, what they did? Like, they weren't even talking about that point. It did, you didn't care for that scene. Oh, oh no, I remember what happened. And the scene was like, oh, you, you're invited by my mother? Like, that, that yeah. was it. And then, like, she just comes. That, that part could have been it, added. Right? That part could have been added from After. that scene. That's yes. insane. And then it's WB's fault, or oh, we need to make the shorter movie because people don't want the movie longer. Blood clot? You make, um, uh, you can make a three hour Blade Runner? But uh, you can't make a two and a half, at least a two and a half hour Justice League movie that everyone wants to see? I'm telling you right now, is that the biggest had backlash? Been? When people saw two hours, people said, like, I'll take a four hour Justice League movie. I would. The Ultimate it's Edition. A Justice League. The Ultimate Edition Batman movie, Batman v Superman, people liked better and it was longer and people said it still felt shorter. Of course. You, you could tell that there was a mandate, though. You know what? I don't want to put all the blame on Josh Whedon because maybe it was a studio. It's not all his fault. It's not all his fault. Because yeah, they had a mandate for two hours. Who does that, I do. I do. I like that he brought Danny Elfman on. Oh, but no. But I don't like how he had him rescore the whole movie. Right. You should have kept Danny. You, Junkie XL with them. And Hans Zimmer. They do their job. Just have Danny Elfman. If you want to throw a Batman uh, thing here had and there hit. with the little super, then perfect. But he rechanged changed the whole score, and just doing that, you're changing Zack's movie. It was a lot of cartoony. Like, yo, that's not Zack Snyder's thing. Hey, like, yo. Truth, I knew Zack Snyder with the daughter thing. Yes, it hurt him, and that's the main reason he jumped off. But I know Warner Brothers wanted to touch the movies more and do that. I knew it. And then he didn't want to Man. deal with that stress, with the, with the problem he was in. And he was like, you know what? You guys can do what you want to do. I just want to take time off. Just think about it. That's why I've been through three movies already, and they've all been critically and like, actually, and and he's they, tired. They even stated, oh, we'll wait for you to come back to do that. No. I think he was like, I you know what? Everyone. I don't want to come back to a movie that you guys are changing, but everyone wants Zack Snyder cut. Or at least they could have kept this cut and just kept back the scenes that were supposed to be there. The movie would have been twice better. Twice That's better. what I'm saying. They could have just added it together. Yeah, and you know what? So speaking back to Danny Elfman, they could have done, they could have done it like have all three of them. Hans Zimmer, Junkie XL, Danny Elfman. Yes. Like, all do it. Because I feel like that would be even better. Because when Danny Elfman is just by himself to rescore the whole movie, there's no one to check him on some stuff. But Junkie XL and Hans Zimmer, they bring that gravitas to the movie. And a fight scene would have been that more epic. Right? The, 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 the only score that people are talking about in Danny Elfman... It's old Batman. The thing. Batman. There's nothing. The thing was straight. It was, it was straight, but it was good to have the Batman back. But, it but the score wasn't epic, or I know what's about the score. It, it was like, Zack Snyder. Dude, he brought back the Batman thing. Right? Okay. But throughout the whole film, that's it. That's and the only thing you can talk about. That's bad. Yeah. yeah right. You can talk about the rest of All right, but the Wonder Woman, he brought back. He brought back. He had his own twist on it, but, he, you know, the original Hans Zimmer, Wonder Woman, Junkie XL. But that was Junkie XL's. That epic Wonder Woman score, he brought it back a little bit, but it's like, it, it's not but the same. The part that, that just infuriates me, the scene in the trailer that every, that blew up Twitter. Which one? We hoped that you would come. Oh and then God. the movie, like, the, Twitter, <laughs> the Twitter blew up for that scene, yeah. and it was not in the movie. <laughs> Yo, every time you talk about these scenes, I'm just like, whoa, wait, that wasn't the, oh, wait, that wasn't the trailer. Everyone, it was like another movie. everyone was thinking who, the big reveal for that scene, and I bet you when it came to fuck Samuel Wolf, it would have made that scene twice right? as hard. So, and what they do? They Not to go. You know what? It might sound cynical me saying this, but I'm glad just as League lose losing money. No, I, no, 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 no. no. I want Warner yeah. Brothers to be hit okay. hard in the face so they realize, okay, maybe we should leave these directors to their own movie. If Zack Snyder's yeah. vision had been if that Red Sky stuff in the third act, that wasn't there before. Zack they, Snyder and, and they they obviously they didn't learn from Suicide Squad. From they didn't. Day. Studio interference. Yo, Warner Brothers, cut it out. All right, better be Superman. The Ultimate Cover received better, right? Cut that should have been. Leave with. them to their work. Yo, all right, you have Wonder Woman. I thought you would have learned from Wonder Woman. You left the director to her own movie to do her own thing, and then whoop, the, the critical success, box office success, and then you want to go back to Justice League. And maybe it's because maybe it's because of Zack Snyder. Maybe it's because of Zack Snyder, like 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 why they why they're so iffy on it? Because he hasn't been doing good, as in like his movies hasn't been critically acclaimed. His DCEU movies. Zack Snyder is a great director, but his DCEU movies haven't been getting critical reviews. And, like, that, that's just a fact. Maybe when it comes to Zack Snyder, they want to meddle so much in his movies. But then when it comes to Patty Jenkins, uh, even David Ayer, like, they don't believe him to his own movie. I mean, he said he had mistakes on it, 
But there was still a lot of a studio. That Joker scene, there was so many Joker scenes in the trailer that didn't make the cut. And I was left me yeah. mad as hell, too. I know they left about a good 20, 20 minutes of his footage on the... On the right? right? He was then, mad. But then, was mad. Man of Steel, the critics' rating wasn't that high. It was 55. wasn't bad. But the audience score was pretty high. Yeah. It was... Man of Steel wasn't bad. It was not it, bad. It was a good movie. Okay? And then, I love Man of Steel. I, I, watch, I could watch that movie every night. Of course. Batman v Superman, I watched the Ultimate Cut. Alright? I, I watched the Justice movie. League is not that bad. The audience score isn't that bad on me. It's just a critic score that's not bad. And people complain for the scenes. It's just, Justice League is not really making the money. Because people were pissed off on Suicide Squad and B, BBS. And that's why people not seeing it. And then the joke that's on Twitter and Instagram is what? Superman's mustache CGI. Oh my god. All right, so um, on Henry Cavill, he didn't have that mustache in the, in the in the original shooting. All those scenes where you see the the, the top lip, that's because of the reshoots. With Zack Snyder, would that even? And be they should have pushed the movie back a month or two if they worked on it. Time to work on CGI right? and stuff. That there was no excuse for that. It didn't. It, I noticed it, but it didn't bother me that bad because I knew it was coming. So I tried to not. I tried try so not hard, stay on but stage, it was kind of obvious. It was obvious. I tried. I literally tried. So I wanted to go into the movie and be like, you know what? I'm going to act like I never heard this news. I mean, it's kind of possible to act like you never heard it when you heard and it already in your mind. But I, I tried. I, like, they, they rush the process. Like, the beginning scene was diving on so hard, and they jumped. I'm going to get the team. And they'll jump so fast. Right? The team. I was you like, could tell. You, I want to see them in their world first getting pulled over. Like, I want to see more Aquaman Atlantis. I wanted to see Barry running his other day jobs. Right? Save Central City. Here Let's there. see someone. Let, let me see him. Let me be the oh Flash. For the Flash. Let me get a two-minute Flash. Like that. Just the Iris rest scene would have been better. Right. Just Cyborg would have seen. And then you would have had more involvement with the characters and the scene would have been better. That's what they really thought. We're not getting a Flash movie until 2020. I want to see the Flash in Central City. At least one scene that will hold me over for these three years that I'll have to go by without seeing any Flash at all. Whoa. That one Flash scene to see Iris West, that, that shows what's, what's there for the future. What's going to be... I mean, I'm already excited for the Flash just because he was good in the movie and I'm naturally excited about the Flash. I love the Flash. But just that one Central City scene, it would have made the hype too. Like, Iris West! It would have made the hype for Iris West like crazy! I'm gonna, see the, I'm gonna see the movie again tomorrow. I'm watching this movie make the money. Uh, and we gotta we gotta all reconsider. This is a long weekend. All families in town. So yeah, they gotta be seeing movies. Just Lee's gonna make his mo- money. I I I. He's gonna make his money back. It, it's gonna make his money back. I don't say people's gonna lose money. I I don't I don't see that happening. I I definitely don't. See but that it's not gonna be like it, they thought it, it already be. it already made three hundred million right now. I yeah, believe. but it's not gonna be. And they got this weekend. Be. I think it's it's, it's gonna make. It made like 93 last I think it'll make about 75. 70, I think 70. it'll make about 75. And then if it stays consistent, not dropping much, it's going to make money. I'll say in the seven, 800 range. It made money, but that's disappointing on Justice League standards of what it could make. This is Justice League. But, like, yo, this thing of the name Justice League. Everyone in the world knows about the Justice League. Like, but, but, all right, if, you, if you're going to... Where's that petition? Because I'm signing it now for the Zack Snyder. Yep. It's just like that. I'm ready to sign that mother sucker. J- just like how Avengers had, like, the biggest box, off in the box opening of all time and stuff, Avengers... Justice League is a more household name than the Avengers. I mean, maybe nowadays because of the movies, but let's say take off all the movies and everything. Go to the most random person in the world and then say, uh, do you know about the Justice League? They're going to be like, oh, yeah, Batman, yeah. Batman, Superman, yeah. Wonder Woman. That, it, should not be, it should not be doing what it's doing right and now. And I think they messed up. The studio. Even though they're the Green Lantern hits, I think they oh, yeah, messed up by hit. not having Green Lantern in it. That, one of the post credit scenes, I love the post credit scenes, but maybe one of them could have been Green Lantern. Oh, it really I heard there was. I heard there was. reports that I heard Batman that. wakes and up in his mansion and it's Killer Wog and I forgot the other one, they cut it out. And you know, I heard that was Zack Snyder's thing. And oh Zack Snyder God. broke the end. Anyone that sees the movie will tell one of the best scenes of what? Zack Snyder, when Destro goes on that boat, people think about De- no, no, Dark Side for Lex, for Just League 2? F that. Yeah. The Legion of Doom and Justice... The Justice League, what the? All my hardcore Justice League fans will remember that Justice League Unlimited episode when the Justice League went against the Legion of Doom. I swear, that was one of the best episodes of all time. I would love to see that in a movie. DC? What, uh, Black no. Idol with Suicide? <sighs> what director do you want to see for Justice League 2? Any it's director. It's not going to be Zack Snyder. I want a director that they let... What, and you know what the stuff that people talk about is like? Snack Snyder was part of a team that helped produce Wonder Woman and was part of writing that script. 
Yeah. Shapiro need to shut up and get away from that man. All right, that's just WB. And he's a part of the uh, Aquaman. WB crying and throwing their foot in the way. Whatever, man. There's a, a Justice League talk for the DC and Zack Snyder. I love you, man. Love all your things. They I think can't. he's done with the DCU. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. I, I think he's done. I don't. I don't think he yeah, has anything right. left to do. I, like he, he did the three movies. I think. I, think, I don't think he wants to I think to he's gonna step away from the big films and start doing like As his producer stuff. I know he dropped the solo project the other day, like about a month ago. I want to see it. He did. But, yeah. A solo project. Yeah, a uh, 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 low budget that he did. He probably wants to go back to low budget so bad yeah, after these big time things. Chest, but anyways, but these are our a little our thoughts on the Justice everything League on everything. This is in our talk. My name is uh, <laughs> <laughs> my name is Daddy, and I'm Richard. Where? Oh. <laughs>